Your time right now is 5.01. We are turning our set red for you this morning to tell you about some breaking news that is happening at this hour. Birmingham police are on the scene of a wreck with injuries. Parrish Oliman joins us now live from the scene on Robert Jemison Road. Parrish? Gina and Stephen, this is an ongoing rescue mission right now. We are right across from the Crescent Homewood Apartment Homes, and people who live inside tell me that they heard the crash just after 3 this morning, came outside. They've now been watching this rescue mission, and here's what I know so far. There are two men trapped inside one car. I want to give you a look at the ongoing rescue mission if we can. Firefighters are back inside the woods right now, and what I've been hearing is that the two men inside that car were coming down the road here, Robert Jemison, and somehow lost control. One witness tells me they hit the curb, flew into the woods, and he used the word actually wrapped around the tree. Now, I have spoke with a friend of one of the men who was trapped inside that car right now. He says that firefighters and rescue workers have told him that both men are alive and they are working to get them out right now. We've been watching for the last two hours as they've been cutting off the top of the car. We saw them remove a back seat. They've been working very hard to get those men out. They actually have two stretchers just up to the curb here on standby to get those men out because, again, we are hearing that both of those men are alive. And that friend of the man trapped inside actually used the word miracle because we're hearing that car is wrapped around the tree. I don't know anything about their injuries, but rescue workers are standing by now. So as soon as they get them out of the car, they can be taken straight to the hospital. Now, I'm still working to, to talk to police and firefighters out here. They are obviously very busy with this rescue mission. But what we're hearing from the friends of the people trapped, they are alive. We will keep you updated on this ongoing rescue mission for two men trapped inside a wreck car. And we have heard that is the only car involved in this accident. I will keep you updated. For now, we're live in Birmingham. Parrish Allman, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. All right, Parrish, thank you. Ten minutes after the hour of 5 o'clock, got a little congestion on 31 as well as on 280. But the accident we're following right now at this hour is on Robert Jemison Road. Our Parrish Allman is on the scene there now. She tells us there are injuries. And as you can see, this is an active situation. This is not a major road that's going to cause you a lot of delays. But just know for those of you in this area, this is major because of what is taking place. Emergency vehicles are there. Parrish Allman is gathering some information at this time. And just as soon as she gets that information, She's going to be giving us that information to update you. This is the only area of concern, and this is right off of Green Springs Avenue. Thank you, Mickey. Time now, 511. Mickey. Thank you, Mark. 520. We're on the scene of breaking news that we've been following since about 430 this morning. As you can see, one of those victims of the two men that were in the car has now been gotten out and they've got him on a stretcher and they're about to take him to a local hospital. Parrish Alleman is on the scene and at the bottom of the hour, she's got some brand new information that she's going to be sharing with you. Just want to show you exactly what is taking place at Ro Robert Dennison Drive there right off of Green Springs Avenue. Again, as we look at the map, the overview shows us that we're running on time when it comes to our interstates. Just a little bit of congestion on 280 and just a little bit on Highway 31, but otherwise we're looking pretty good this morning. As we get closer to that 7 o'clock rush hour time though, expect traffic to build. I'll update you in 10 minutes. Thank you, Mickey. Time now, 521. Get ready to whip out your credit card before you're wheeled into the operating room or undergo an MRI. Why hospitals are now asking patients to pay up front. And we take a look at an interesting connection between social drinking and exercise. You're watching Wake Up Alabama with coverage you can count on. Thank you, Mark. 531 on our interstates and major roads. We are accident free. We are still following this one accident. We're about to check in with Parrish Alleman, who is live on the scene of this accident. New developments are coming in. She has brand new information, so we'll be joining her in just a moment. But as far as an overview of the rest of our area, we are looking good this morning. Everything seems to be running on time. We do have that one accident, but if you're coming in on 65 from the south, County Road 52 to University Boulevard, you're only looking at 60 minutes and if you're on I-20 coming in from the west a 15 minute drive once you get to 280. At 531 we are turning our set red to bring you some breaking news. Crews are now on the scene of a rescue effort in Birmingham. Yeah that's right Birmingham police are on the scene of a wreck with injuries. Parrish Alleman has been there this morning. She joins us now live with the very latest. 
We just watched them take one man out of this wreck car. They loaded him up on the stretcher and put him in the ambulance. We are now waiting for the second man to be rescued. You can see that they have the stretcher ready to go. They are working to get that second man out right now. I can hear the ambulance with the first man that was loaded into. That one's ready to take off to the hospital right now. Now, I've been speaking with witnesses out here, and even one of the men trapped inside's brother. What he says is that his brother's birthday is today. He turned 28. They were out celebrating. He says that they were leaving and coming home, but the brother's car was in front of him and he lost it. He says he drove by this exact area, didn't see anything, looped back around and came back and saw people in the woods with flashlights. And that's when he found his brother in that wreck car. He says at that time he tried to pull him from the wreckage himself, but his brother was pinned. They called 911 and the police came out here and that's when this rescue mission began. It's been going on for about two hours now. Again, we know that both men inside the car are still alive. One man is out and on the way to the hospital. They are working to get the second man out right now as we speak. Now, we are right across from the Crest at Homewood Apartments, and people who live here tell me that they actually heard this crash at about 3 in the morning. They woke up. They came out. People are still watching this rescue two hours later. Again, both, man's, both men still alive. One is out. We are waiting now for the second man to be rescued. We will keep you updated all morning long. For now, we're live in Homewood. Parish Solomon, WIT 42 News. Coverage you can count on. All right, Parish, thank you.